Good morning, everyone. Let's start with today's topic that is balance. When we are talking about balance, there are two main types. One, in order to maintain a body in a stagnant position so that the body doesn't fall. And second one, when the body is moving, that is known as dynamic balance and static balances. Coming to the contents, we will deal with definition, systems working to maintain balance, difference between balance and coordination, types of balance, how body balances itself and evaluation of balance. Coming to the definition, a biological system that enables us to know where our bodies are in the environment in which position our body is. That is, you are either sitting, standing, walking or doing something, whether it is static or whether it is dynamic. Normal balance depends on information from eyes, ears, joints and muscle. So that is termed medically that inner ear are the senses such as sight, touch, muscle movement and also direction of motion. Balance is defined as it is individual's ability to maintain line of gravity drawn straight from the COG, that is your center of gravity, should fall and must fall within base of support in order to maintain balance. Imagine your line of gravity passing from the COG, which is usually located in front or anterior to your S2 vertebrae, doesn't fall within your base of support. Base of support is nothing but the area covered between the two feet, including the feet area. If that line doesn't fall within BOS, the person tends to fall. This is usually seen in geriatric patient. Geriatric people have slouched thoracic kyphosis. The head is forward, that is forward cervical head. The LOG is definitely passing ahead too much from the BOS that is due to the COG is far ahead located when compared to your sacral vertebrae that is your S2 vertebrae. In this case, if the person is not given with the walker or the cane which is going to increase your BOS, the person, the geriatric person has definitely going to fall because the line of gravity is not falling within the BOS. Balance can also be described as the ability to maintain equilibrium where equilibrium can be defined as a condition in which all the acting forces are cancelled by other resulting in a stable balanced system. Coming to systems working to maintain balance. There are three important systems which work together in order to maintain balance. Hence balance is a work of integration between three systems. Now what are the three systems? These systems take up the signal about the position of the body and the environment passed down to the brain and the brain senses whether the body is under balance or in, it is needed to in, in order to maintain the balance. So these are somatosensory or proprioceptive system, vestibular and visual. Somatosensory or proprioceptive system. There are two important proprioceptive system in order to maintain balance. One is situated within the joint known as joint proprioceptors which maintain the which sorry which sense the joint position sensation it senses whether the joint is in extension or in flexion gives the information to the brain and brain senses whether the joint should be in extension or flexion in order to maintain balance sends back the information to the muscle in order to carry out the movement this is how the joint mechanism works. Whereas muscle, muscle has two proprioceptors, namely Golgi tendon organ present within the tendon of the muscle and muscle spindle present on the muscle fiber. Two receptors of the muscle have two different functions. Golgi tendon organ respond to faster contraction of the muscle, whereas muscle spindle respond to slower contraction of the muscle. When the brain senses, there is definite need of the change in the body position in order to maintain balance, the muscles are either activated or inhibited. That is either eccentrically contracted or concentrically contracted. In order to maintain the balance quickly, GTOs are activated. Whereas in order to maintain balance slowly, if the person can gradually increase his balance, that time muscle spindles are 
very much activated by the brain coming to vestibular and visual vestibular and visual are nothing but your ear and eye reflexes vestibular and visual reflexes take down the impulses from from the head over body alignment or body over head alignment imagine you are walking with your head tilted on one side continuously definitely the brain will sense this is abnormal because your vestibular and visual reflexes are sending or sensing something abnormal because the head is not aligned with the body the reflexes are sent down to the brain the brain activates the neck musculature to get back the head back to the alignment with the body this is how the somatosensory vestibular and visual systems are linked in normal condition when a person is either walking or standing if the stable surface is seen where the person is standing or walking 70% of somatosensory information 20% of your vestibular and 10% of the vision are inculcated and passed down to the brain to maintain the balance whereas when the surface is unstable when the surface beneath is moving 60% of vestibular 30% of vision and 10% of somatosensory as impulses are carried forward to the brain sensory motor control system the name lies uh, sorry the system lies within the name sensory is nothing but your eye ear and the joint over and um, also the muscles around the joint take up the signals of how the body is positioned when it is either moving or stagnant and then these signals are passed further to the integration system that is your brain mainly cerebellum and basal ganglia please remember cerebellum is very important when we are talking about static balance whereas basal ganglia is very important when we are talking about dynamic balance this is integrated in the brain the brain senses that the body should be maintained the balance of the body should be maintained so that the body doesn't fall the senses these senses are sensed by the, through the motor output passed down to the joint and the muscle so that the muscle either contracts so that the joint is maintained in a single position taking now the same example tilting your head towards one side and walking the head is not aligned with the body let it be the other side still the head is not aligned with the body the brain senses it the sensory uh, the efferent signals are passed down to the neck musculature in order to get back the head with the body alignment that is nothing but brain sends the signals first to the muscle the muscle tends to either eccentrically contract or concentrically contract in order to maintain the balance coming down to how balance is maintained we already know the person the body um, the body position is sensed by the eyes ear and joint overlying the muscle hence these sensation are passed to the brain to in order to maintain the balance the last slide for today is sensory organ brain and muscle interaction these are the sensory organs which pass the signal to the brain how the body's position is achieved during movement or static the brain senses and sends the motor output to the muscle the muscle is either activated or inhibited now we know muscle is either activated or inhibited when you want the knee extension quadriceps are activated and when you want knee flexion quadriceps must be inhibited in order to achieve the balance let's meet you on the next class of the balance topic in continuation